All right, I'm not going to go into game too much, but I am going to give you the top three things that I found that are important when it comes to attracting women. All right, number one, it's called game. You have to have fun, all right? Have fun. This is the number one thing when you're out especially. Okay, I'm a big specialist in the nightlife. All right, girls want to have fun. Uh, when I was on that road trip, I was listening to the radio all the time. Everybody knows that song by Cyndi Lauper, Girls Just Want to Have Fun. I heard it because I hadn't listened to that song before, like for years and years. Now that I know game, that song is brilliant. <laughs> it's like everything comes out of her, the way she sings, the music, the energy. I'd recommend before you go out to listen to that song because the number one thing is have fun with game because girls just want to have fun. All right, number two, this kind of goes along with number one, and I think this is an advantage for guys who grew up with sisters. You treat them like little girls, all right? You tease them like it's your little sister, okay? So number one was have fun. Number two, you have fun by treating them like little girls, okay? Um, especially when they're out. I'm not talking about like long-term relationships, so when you hear my stuff, keep that in mind. I'm more like a, I like one-night stands, I like short flings, because my life doesn't have room for a relationship right now. All right, so treat them like a little girl. Play with them. Remember that if they don't have kids, they probably still mentally are little girls. So treat them like that. Number three, all right, as a man, you need to be a challenge to these girls. Okay, you can't come across as desperate and needy. So number three was be a challenge. Okay, that's where the teasing comes in as well. You're kind of making fun of them. You're poking fun. You're having a good time. You're saying you amuse me because I'm, I'm the, um, what was that, what word am I looking for? I use this one all the time. Um, I'm the treasure, or something like that. So again, yes, the prize. You are the prize, okay? So have fun, treat her like a little girl, and be a challenge. All right, so those are the three top things in game. All right, so if you want to step up your game overnight, and we just had a presentation on this, all right, we just, we had Tanner talk about this, um, and George just talked about it, but this was the number one thing that changed for me overnight, okay? So game takes a long time. Practice with women takes a long time. Seduction takes a long time to really learn. But style, you can do overnight. I had a consulting with Tanner years back. Thank you, Tanner. Wonderful. Um, and I, after that, I went to Macy's. I found somebody who looked like they knew what they were doing. It actually ended up being this gay guy, but he had great eye for fashion. He, he gave me pants that fit. Um, he gave me shirts that fit with my, uh, I told him what Tanner's profile of me was. Found the shirts, exactly what I wanted. Um, that, I bought these shoes, all right, new boots. I didn't have the hat yet. I couldn't quite rock the hat. I didn't have the confidence yet. But that night when I went out, I remember Tanner told me, he was like, your approaches are going to be so much easier. And you know what? It was right then and there. That night, it was easy because the girls saw it right away. All right, so on this um, note, I started um, about a year ago. Um, I started making jewelry, okay? So I always wear this pendant. This pendant, um, it's actually a piece of ayahuasca. And so now I'm making my own jewelry. You can get it at masculineaccessories.com. You can buy it online there. Or I'll have some for sale in the back if you want to check those out. But this thing, I'm telling you, I said before that girls don't have game. Every single time I'm talking to a girl and she's interested, 100% she's going to ask me about it. Okay, so there's, this is like the bait. Okay, she, she asked me about it, what is that? Whatever I'm wearing around my neck. Okay, it's always a thing around my neck. The bracelets are more for, you know, I like the trifecta, the, the watch, the bracelet, and the pendant, but every single girl asks what's going on around my neck. Okay, especially in this area, in this country, um, it's not very common for guys to wear necklaces. I actually remember on that trip in 2015 when I met Rolo, my car broke down in Florida, and it was Pensacola. Has anybody been to Pensacola? Oh my God. It was, I mean, for me, it was the worst thing in the world. I, I can't even, it was kind of like redneck, uh, I don't know, but they're still living in the city. It was just, I was so, I was such an outsider, I did not fit in. So I was walking down the street, guys, within 10 minutes, four guys had said, hey, hey fag, nice necklace. But, <laughs> but that was Pensacola. Like, it's, the point is you get noticed, okay? So if you're interested, like I said, you could check out my stuff. I'm very, very selective when it comes to the gems and the stones I use, or you could check out the website. 
All right, so style, again, if you want to do it overnight. Isn't that girl pretty? Yeah, yeah I was chatting her up last night. All right, another one. All right, so the guys that I've met here, I have seen um, and talked to them, a big concern for them, because I met a lot of them are introverts. I think every single guy I met, I, we considered an introvert so far. Um, the biggest problem would be getting out of your head when it comes to going out and loosening up and having a good time.